today I'm here to speak about I'm here to speak about Canaan. Shalom. Okay, shalom there. Shalom there. I'm here to speak about Canaan. And today I have this map here to show you Africa. From the Europe, from the Europeans, they call it Africa. You know, it is uh the leader from the from Rome. It came way down there. And then he took over the land that time and called itself Africa. Because he was like using for the slaves and during that time and used us as slaves that time. And, um, and today I'm here to speak about the truth of, of people of color known as Hebrew, Israelites, and Jew. Jew, G E W S, known as the people of color. And the whole 12 tribes. And I will tell you the other race too, also with by um, Esau. All right, now we'll talk about the land. The land that you see is called Africa today. But the land that was known as the beginning, it was known as Canaan. As you look at the, the whole continent, the whole continent is known as Canaan. It was known as Canaan. But this land here, this promised land, the motherland they call it, they, it's known as Canaan. And today they call it Africa, but we still call it Canaan. And I still call it Canaan to this day. And even Israel, and that little land, that little part of that land right there, that little cut, is known as Israel. All this is connected to this land. And family. But today, they all divide, it's all separate and divide. And it should not be separate and divide, but it's already divide, because we live by separation. That's what's causing it too much confusion. And, um, and the other thing also, the language that they speak by, by, by Adam, by Adam and Eve, they speak the old time, old time Aramaic. They speak the old time Aramaic. And then all the prophets from the Bible that you read from the Old Testament to the New Testament to let you know that the language is still continued during that time. Where Master Yah changed the language, he changed the language for his purpose. Now, Abraham, he speak Aramaic. Isaac, Ishmael, Jacob, they speak Aramaic. Esau speak Yiddish, that they call it Yiddish. And Yiddish is not part of Hebrew, or no, that's not word Hebrew. Hebrew means a people of color, a people means Hebrew. A language that the Yiddish came from, it came from Samaritan. And they still use it today. Even over there from Hebron and Samaritan. It's called Samaria. And they still speak in it today. They still speak Samaritan today. Because every letter you, you see, we don't use no vowels. Because the real Aramaic not used, not used for vowels. Now, and Esau speak more Samaritan, Samaritan, even though they don't talk about Esau that much. And now I'm going to continue on to let you know that, that Canaan is the land for homes for 12 tribes, for all 12 tribes. Even though Moses came out from Egypt, and him and his crew and the Israelites that go, have to go to cross to go through from Mount Sinai to Mount Sinai to Israel and they build up places, they build up the castle, they build up everything over there, they have goals and everything oil, you can name it it's been created over there and to this day it's still known as Canaan, Canaan, you that means you have two Israels, 
you have Israel 1 and you also have Israel 2. And they still remain back as a family. And the language that they speak today is called Aramaic. And I'm going to show you. Now, now I'm going to show you the Aramaic. Dur during that time, the old Aramaic, that's when, that's when, that's when. Abraham, Isaac, Ishmael, and Jacob, and all the prophets, all the way down. And I can't lift out, I ain't, I ain't mean to lift out Adam and Eve also. They learned this old ancient Aramaic. And this is the old ancient Aramaic. Now, that's the real Judean language, seriously. But no one don't mention they think it's everything's from the Muslim. It's not from the Muslim. This is the real old ancient Aramaic, I'm sure. And today, and today, and today, this is the Aramaic they learned from today. If you cannot see, you gotta check on the um check on the, the other website that um, I put in. I mean, I put out, it's called Real Aramaic. Search that, Real Aramaic. This one here, this is the uh, Aramaic today. The update today. And today, you still, still learning. The way how we, how we, how we, how we pronounce it, how we say it, we say, we say, we say, we say, ah, or the ba, and ga, and da. Even though you hear from the Hebrew Israelites where they were speaking, but the Hebrew Israelites learned how to speak Pilito. And Pilito is not really a same exact family as Aramaic here. Aramaic is so old because Aramaic is so short. Certain letters are short and certain words is long. And the way I had to break it down, when they, with Pilito, they used the word to say, Yaw, Yaw, That's long. They use Palio. And this one here, in Aramaic, when we use the word Judah, we say Yada. And that's it. The Yiddish, they use, they, the, the Yiddish that they call Samar Samaria, Samaritan, they use the word Yehuda. They use it with the V. Now, we yeah, are pretty much with the V and the E. They keep using vowels. And that's not old, old, old. This is the old time. This is the old here. This is the update. This is the real Judeum. This is the real true tribes that they learn. This is the real language that Hebrew and Jews and Israelites use. Esau, he might understand it, but he don't understand it like that quite. Because the postulations sound different from each other. That's why they don't understand each other. So, as I continue, because, you know, when you do goo on the phone, and we all know about Yahshua, what's Yahshua's language he speaks? Yahshua speak Aramaic. When Yahshua speak Aramaic, you could Google and say, what's the language that Yahshua speaks? 
aka known as Jesus. He speak Aramaic. And Aramaic is the first generation language. Until they start using until they start using until they start using this language. They use this type of language, and this language here, that they, that's what the Yiddish use today. They speak it to it. It's not wrong to learn it. It's not wrong to speak it and learn it. But I could say this: this is not part of the basis of of, of the language. They use it today in Jerusalem, in Israel today. They using it today and learn today. It's cool, cause, cause no matter what how you put it together, you still translate the same way when you did with the Aramaic. But this is not really also known as Aramaic. This is just uh, just the easy way to help you to learn the language of the writings of the different writings. And you still can pronounce it the same way. Say ah, ba, ga, da. But today they use the word say. Alpha, Beth, Gamma, and Sarah, Sarah. And that's what the, the Edomites use today. Salad and all them, and Esau, they use that today. Even though Esau used Greek too. He also read Greek too. So, you know, you remember with Caesar Augusta. Caesar Augusta is part of the Esau family. And that's his, that's his relative. And I'm going to show you what the Hebrew Israelites use today. Hebrew Israelites use this. Pileo. And same thing as Edomite. But Yahshua don't, don't speak that letters. He only speak He only speak This letter He only speak this letter He only spoke this letter All the all the prophets, etc., all the way down to the line from the Bible you're reading. And also, all of them, the 12 tribes and all of them you read from the Bible are people of color, except the Esau family. Esau family has Celeb and all of them, and Sarah, etc. Sarah. And they are not known, they are not known as chosen ones. A lot of don't think they chosen one today. No, they are no they're not known as chosen one. But I'm not here to judge. I'm here to speak the truth when I when I check the research. And now I'm gonna get to to Yahshua because all that's that's learned from Canaan. All that is learned from Canaan, aka Israel that they call it Africa today. And now, I'm going to show you a complexion. I'm going to show you a complexion. How Yahshua look? Yahshua is not known. No, it's not known for Yeshua or 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 you call you call the name called Jesus. Today they call it Jesus because that's the only way we learn it from the language we learn easily to, to speak English. But in Greek they call it Ibus or he, Jesus. And I'll show you what color Yahshua complexion is.
He is this complexion. It's his complexion. I want to make sure the camera catching it. That's his complexion right here. And the eyes is red. It's fire. And that's his complexion. Now, when they talk about the hair, the hair-wise, that's how his hair originally looked. Long. But the only thing is different, he don't have no beard. He don't have no mustache. He only have long hair without no mustache and beard. This complexion, the eyes. The reason why they say wool, because he wearing a turban. And, and that's the miscommunication of the words today. And I thank you for listening. If you have any comments, please put it down. Be free to. And shalom. Lay.